All right, guys, uh, I was about to just brush off my uh, J-Frame 442 after a quick range trip. I haven't been to the range in a while, and I thought I'd go ahead and go over my uh, impressions and shooting impressions on the new uh, new release from uh, Hammery Forge, the Spiegel boot grips. Um, I've been getting this teased forever. Uh, by the way, this is the Georgia Arms uh, Ultimate Snub Defense Wad Cutters. Uh, these shoot super, super well. Um, and they're right here in Georgia. They actually got these delivered to me, but... Um, yeah, that's my carry. I mean, let me set that up. But yeah, I thought I'd uh, brush this stuff off because I try to keep the carbon um, and just kind of keep it clean. I don't really do a detailed cleaning of it. But um, yeah, um, I first had the Hammery Forge grips for my Ruger LCR. Uh, I forget how I got introduced to them, but I was a big fan of it. It, it gave a lot better grip for me and um, he also had him for the J frame but uh, he hinted at a new release um, and from what I understood he actually got new machines a new um, manufacturing process called sintering that's still like a carbon fiber nylon material um, the first ones were solid on the LCR um, you know I, I had a pretty good review on those if you guys go look back but uh, I do especially love the hook function on it I've tested this a lot um, this one gives me a little bit better angle and actually um, tips a little bit more this way in the belt where the the front of the, the, the barrel kind of points out so it seems to conform better. And um, I've been trying to rock out. I usually carry this appendix one if I'm doing, not keeping a holster. But um, I have been carrying it around the 4 or 5 o'clock position and it's worked really well there. Um, the balance on there, it's uh, like that. So it's easy to grip and pull out. But um... Yeah, it's gonna follow the natural back strap of the uh, J frame, so it's gonna follow that. But if you guys notice, like this is the, uh, the default, uh, you know, the OEM grip versus the Hammery Forge, you have a bigger swell on the side, and that makes a big difference. Now this is hard material; it's not like the rubberized stuff like the the Smith and Wesson um, ones are. But um, it, even though this is an air weight, the only time I had a problem shooting was today was when I was, I'm used to a semi-auto, so I'd have my, my webbing kind of high up here, and that little ridge was popping me in the hand, but as soon as I tucked my thumb down more, that went away. Um, no comfort issues, and the good thing about this, it, it, um, you know with rubber it may get sweaty and stuff, but um, even with 50 rounds, I didn't feel like I had to keep adjusting my grip every time I, I did a shot, so you know, unload it again. So if I pop a shot, I didn't have to like, fiddle with my grip pop a shot pop a shot um like i said no issues with that whatsoever but i um ryan like i said has been um, hinting at this release he ain't been i've been talking to him about it trying to get more info out of him um and i mean i'm just a fan um feels good in hand the the texturing is still great it's a little bit different than the one on the lcr because it's that's the older process but um yeah it, I had a great time shooting with it. Uh, I felt like I would. Like I said, the only issue was this ridge part kind of hitting me. But uh, like I said, once I readjusted my hand for more of a revolver thumb tucked in grip, uh, that went away. Um, like I said, I feel a lot more secure shooting this, um, even with the hook there, because it really isn't an issue. And I feel like the the way the grips um, angle, I get more le more leverage on the the trigger. If that makes sense. Um, just the way my hand's leveraged on there. So I get a little bit more leverage on the trigger itself, a little less, um, you know, sight disruption on there. And if I ever need, I did get this set, so I can just pop that on there. Um, another great thing about this is with this cutout right here, um, it, you are supposed to be able to use any speed loaders. Um, I don't have any speed loaders, I just have speed strips. I don't really carry them, but that's really not my thing. But I like to try them. Uh, my friend's been sending me a couple of things about the uh, some nice speed loaders, speed loaders that he's tried. But um, yeah, I've been super happy with them. I've had the grips for a while. I uh, haven't been able to go to the range until I snuck out of work early today and went over there. But guys, if you guys are looking for the one, um, I think this is great. And with my hand size, I have medium size hands. Uh, I get two full fingers. And the way this is tucked in, I do get leverage with the pinky right here. See that? So I still get a lot of downward pressure. 
with my firing hand and like I said it it feels very secure like that uh, like I said um the biggest thing you're gonna have to learn when you're shooting is grip and I had no no problems with uh, keeping that secure um, I did a 5x5 drill uh, it's pretty good for me um, I posted the results they're all in the black Obviously, five yards isn't a long ways off, but uh, this is not meant for long distance shooting. This is just a get out of trouble gun. Uh, definitely a huge fan um, of just being able to throw this on, especially during the summer months right now here in Georgia. I just um, throw this in my pants. I mean, the only other gun I have right now is my Glock 45, and that thing is pretty big. And I sweat a lot during work. So, I mean, you know, mission carry, mission drives the gear. Uh, my mission isn't to go hunt for bad guys so uh this uh hammery forge hook grips the the spiegel edition now like i said is uh is gonna be the grip for me i don't feel like i need to shop for any other uh grips for my 442 or j frame or whatever i think there's gonna be another uh edition coming out soon um oh if you guys are in the podcast he uh ryan at hammery forge he's also on the episode that i heard recently um uh the live life larp podcast where he uh gets to talk to the podcasters about just the processing the new process he guys he uh, uses for the centering um future pro projects possibly um future um things that could happen with it and just uh peek into the background on how this got developed with uh spiegel mr spiegel himself to kind of collaborate to make this but Installation was easier than the first one. Um, it's just basically two pieces rather than the two pieces plus the, the little um, wedge in the bottom of the base plate. Um, you just basically snap on one, snap on this side, screw that in here until it's the, uh, the nut there and that's it, you're good to go. And um, you know, uninstallation is just as easy. Um, you just you know, unscrew that part. Uh, you can put something else on or you can just switch to the non-hook version. Pop that on there, tighten it back up. Um, the fit and finish was good. I didn't feel any weird hot spots. And like I said, the only issue I really went into with this was just this part itself. So, um, guys, I, I know I was kind of distracted trying to kind of brush this, the carbon and stuff off and trying to talk about it. But I just thought while I had the time, I'd go over that stuff with you guys. But otherwise, I'm uh, super stoked with this. Um, huge shout out to Ryan over at Henry Forge. And I hope you guys at least check him out. Go look at his product. Go see some of the... Uh, I mean, he's got some big names in the uh, you know in the revolver world. This kind of back to stuff. And I, I'm super happy for him. But yeah, if you guys had any questions. If you guys had any opinions. Have you tried the Henry Forge grips? Have you tried the new ones? Um, what do you guys think? Let me know.